The afternoon sun brings a little light for what um, Giles Flanagan calls I feel awful. Like, such dark days. I, having a hard time focusing and keeping everything together. Nick was a one-of-a-kind person with a very, very gracious and big heart. I think what we want to try to do is try to remember the good things um, given the horrible circumstances, as hard as that is. Flanagan is the co-owner of Blue Pan Pizza. He says Nick Cordova was hit and killed riding home from work over the weekend. Nick was one of Flanagan's longest tenured employees and one of his friends. He was always there for everyone, and I just feel so bad for my team. And of course, I feel so bad that my friend, you know, uh, lost his life in that manner. It's just awful. Early Saturday morning, police responded to a hit and run crash near Grove and Spear Boulevard, about a half mile away from the restaurant. Flanagan says Nick was on a moped when he was hit and killed. Police say the other driver, someone in a white SUV, took off. They're still looking for it. Employees from Blue Pan printed out flyers trying to help find the person responsible. Things will not be the same without Nick. I think knowing that the person who killed our friend could be held accountable, it would just be, uh, it would just provide us all with comfort. Comfort will be hard to come by this holiday, but this restaurant family hopes answers won't be. If anybody has any information at all, please report it, we'd be so grateful. For anyone planning to visit any of the Blue Pan locations in the coming days, Flanagan asks that you give his staff some grace. They're going through a hard time right now and doing the best they can. He says they do plan to honor Nick in some way in the near future. Kim? Yeah, if anything, just be really thoughtful and give him your business. But nobody like has any other information. I mean, cameras, something to figure out who did this. Yeah, they're also encouraging just that. Anyone who may have some surveillance cameras in that neighborhood or ring cameras that may have caught a white SUV driving by in that area, they urge anyone with any of that information to contact Crime Stoppers or Denver Police. And the time of the year just makes these things, I think, all the worse. Absolutely heartbreaking, yeah. Thanks, Jaleesa.